Yo, what is happening, guys? Undisputed Flogs here, and today we're back, and we're back with another Undisputed Podcast. And as always, I'm back with Shay. Hey, guys, what's happening? Ah, I wish I could be that energetic. Um, We're going to be doing the podcast Shay wanted to do, and a couple of you said they just wanted to see, which is we talk about the supernatural world, which I don't know how to explain the supernatural world. It's supernatural. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's cool as fuck. Yeah, but like I don't know it's how to cool explain it. It's like all these different creatures and shit. That's basically like what it is, to be honest. But yeah, it's like creatures that aren't feasible enough to be real. But you never know if they're real or not. True. They could be. True. But uh, like loads of lore behind them. Yeah, exactly. Everything's different. But me and Shay have got five each. Shay knows more about this, but I did my research, so I took five. He took five. I'll be go- I'll be saying mine. We'll have a conversation. He'll be saying his. We'll have a conversation. And we'll just keep going like that. So I'll start off. The first one is the demon. Because that was like the easiest to research, I guess. So obviously the demon, you know, is from hell. You believe heaven or hell. There's angels, there's demons. The demon is the complete opposite of the angel. Angels, good. Devil's bad. No, uh, demons, bad. Sorry. So basically, demons are evil, sadistic, vile creatures (laughs) from the pits of (laughs) hell. So... Basically, what? Sweet. Yep. So they're created from human souls that have been through immense torture. And demons, much like angels, require a physical embodiment to walk on the earth. Meaning they need to live flesh human being to possess. Oh my god. So a host. A host, basically. Sorry, my head really hurts. (laughs) That's, That's why I thought, yeah, a host, basically a physical embodiment, a host, whatever like that, they need that to walk on the earth. But like I said, basically demons, you'll see it in movies, you'll see it in movies, you'll see it in all different things, you'll see it in, I assume, the Supernatural series that Shay watched, it's just called Supernatural, yeah? Yeah, yeah okay. this is basically all my research is off of this. Yeah, so. see, you, it, it was easier for you to do research, you would be watching it, I just had to go off of Google, so, and my own knowledge. I'm, I'm uh... I'm eight seasons in of 15 seasons right now. So. Oh my god. I'm loving it. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> but, uh, yes. So, also some demons can accident, uh, be, can be accidented through out the body by an exorcism, causing the demon to be forced to leave the human body. So, if a demon. Obviously, like I said, it needs a Che said host or a physical embodiment to walk on the earth. It could also possess, like you've seen in lo- many movies, like say The Exorcist or many other movies, or real life offense if you believe in that, you know what I mean? Um, and one of the ways mm. to get rid of it is an exorcism, which I guess would, wouldn't scare the demon out, but it would force it to come out. And that's kind of how you yeah. get rid of it. I can't really think of another way you get rid of it because that's the only way I've like thought of getting rid of a demon is exorcism. That's like the only yeah. way that seemed to work. Like, cause I, I well, yeah. I mean, I believe in ghosts and shit, so I believe in I, I I'm on the edge about exorcism. Mm-hmm. I, I believe it could happen. I just don't believe it's happened as many times as people make it out to be. Yeah, that's fair. And but, another thing that uh, you can do it it doesn't like sort of harm it. So it doesn't, or it, no, sorry, it does harm it. It doesn't get it out of the host body, but you can literally holy water it. So you can oh, yeah, I know that. just yeah. throw holy water onto it, and it sort of burns them. <laughs> kind of like vampires. Mm. I think I've seen okay. that in movies and shit, where yeah. and you should just grab the person that's possessed and just chuck them in holy water. Like, literally make them go for a swim in holy water. Fur. Do it. Also, devil traps, so you could do that as well. The what? Devil traps, so you could do that too. Which is? Um, it's basically this big sort of... You've, you have you know a pentagram? Yeah. It's basically that, but like you draw it on the ground. They use it in the Supernatural series, but like you draw it on the ground, um, and there's usually a demon in the middle of it sitting on a chair, you know, strapped oh. to the chair. If they break out of the chair, they can't get out of that devil trap unless the seal is broken from the devil trap yeah I've seen that and uh I'm just going off movies I've watched it what is the movie there's a movie that they do that and the fucking 
I think it's The Conjuring, actually. The Conjuring mm -hmm. 2, maybe. Mm -hmm. Where it happens and then she swings the chair upside down in the form of, like, a upside-down cross. And it's like, I don't know. But that, yeah, I've seen that. But So, yes, de demons are, like, the most basic one. I'm sorry, I'm not up the form. I feel so sick. <laughs> I literally right. can't even remember how I started that off. But, yeah, so demons, the opposite of angels. Angels are from heaven, demons are from hell. If you believe heaven or hell, it's a supernatural character. And it's just, it's evil as shit, to basically say the least. Um, I feel like everybody knows about demons. Whether you believe in them or not is a different story. But I feel like everybody knows about angels and demons and what side they're on. But, yeah. right, do you want to take it away? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't have a basic one right now. So it, it's going to be uh, a bit confusing. Okay. But what I have right now is called a topa. So okay. basically, uh, a topa is created. Say it's it's created from uh, what's known as a Tibetan spirit sigil, right? So what that is is it's a sign. So say it's just like a random fucking like like a sign drawing that you can draw on the like wall or whatever. Yeah. So it is. So it's created using that, and basically what happens is it takes like it's weird. It's a spirit sigil, so it it takes like I guess energy. This is what I'm getting from it. It takes like energy of belief, kind of. So say you have a story, right? Yeah. Say you make up this guy, and it's say this guy, um, he killed his family and he killed his wife, and then. He stabbed himself in the chest, and now whenever anybody comes into his house, he sort of like slits his throat and he kills them, you know. And that's and you get people to believe that story okay. because it's a fake story. You get people to believe it. If there's a Tibetan spirit sigil there, it will take that belief and it will manifest it, oh. and it will push it out into reality. So I see why you wanted to do that one though. <laughs> Yeah. I let so basically when I choose these, I just choose them at random. To be honest, and then you can say I want to do the top, and I was like, well, you can do the top, and then yeah. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> yeah, no, but that that is it. So literally, I've written down here. So basically, uh, they're mainly used to uh, harm people. So mm. they are, but see as the story changes, because obviously stories change yeah. throughout time. Then the top itself will change. If, if many people believe in it you know so the way I written down here how you can kill it so I says here uh, they take on a form of their own in most cases uh, they may not be able to be killed because once people start believing in it then it takes on like sort of this obviously just a form of itself mm. so it can't sort of be killed but when you start to believe that, in it or stop no it's whenever people loads of people start to believe in it yeah then um it takes on a form of its own so it does whatever sort of thing like it sort of wants yeah i thought you said but, there if you believe in it it stops and i'm like i thought it gained off your faith it was my probably i misheard no sorry it's uh I've, well I've said that i've been it, it stopped it, well, it sort of stops needing people to believe in it because it's already yeah. gotten its strength yeah, basically. Okay. But um, you can change the story, so you can. So the one way I've written down here is sort of how to kill it. Mm. You change the story, and you give the character, you give the top a, a weakness. So say it's afraid of silver knives or something like you that. Wait, you can write one... its weakness? Yeah, you can do that. I see why you wanted to do this one. It's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad definitely... I didn't take this one because you're, you're splitting it so much better because it's probably in the series. So it is. It's so in, there you go. Uh, I think it's it's in the episode called Hell House. So it is. That's what it was. But um, you know, you, you, can, you do make me want to watch yeah. Supernatural. It's just fifteen seasons. It's too good. <laughs> I know, but it's not. It's not the fact that like you need to stick with the story and stuff because you know you do. But it's, it's kind of like it's it. I would say fifteen seasons, but see, whenever they conceptualized the story, so they yeah. were making it. It was actually only meant to be five seasons long, so the end of the, the 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 finale to the fifth season is literally them ending the series, and then they come back for a sixth season. So they do, but you know, of course, at that time they didn't know, so they took a year off and then started making more, yeah, and more and more episodes of it. But I would say watch season one because 
season one doesn't really have much to do with the story. They're literally just going around all the time and investigating sort of murders and stuff that happens. Yeah. Um, so the, the go around <coughs> doing that, but you, you get to see some cool shit in the first season alone, you know, and then season two sort of takes more of the story and then season three and four, that's all story. But this one, season one, is clearly, is literally just uh, creatures, basically. Fair enough. So it is with a little bit of story. So I would do season one if I were you because it is really good okay but I uh, know they did that in uh, in episode I think it was 13 or something but they did, they did it in the episode called Hell House so basically what the say you, you can go like it, it dies if you slash it in the neck with a silver knife or something yeah um, and you write that and say you put because nowadays everything's posted online and no one can say if it's true or not so everyone sort of believes it and even if you say you don't believe it there's still a possibility so you will sort of believe it a wee bit so you can put it online and then hundreds and thousands of people will believe it and then you'll go back to the top of and you'll be able to kill it Wait, because do, do you need believe it. do you need the most people to believe how it can be killed to kill it yeah yeah, oh. you need you need people to believe you can't just change so, the story so realistically so belief can't... Is its biggest strength and its biggest weakness of people? Yes. Fair enough. Yeah. Actually, it's kind Pretty of cool. Fair enough. Yeah, it is. It is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cool. <laughs> no, but uh, that, that's basically what it is. So it can take any form of what you believe it looks like and all that. So it can take any form. It can kill anything. You could even say that it, it, it can't be killed, you know. But obviously it can't because you can just change the story. And mm. you need to get loads of people to believe in it because it's that belief part that actually changes it yeah but Fair enough. that's it so that's a topa nice topas are cool they are yeah uh, no like I said I see why you want to do I want it's kind of cool oh yeah they're, they're decent like I, I just mainly like the part where you can change the story <laughs> yeah oh yeah you can change it and then get people to believe yeah different. one thing that they did in the show to show that was um had this like sort of ghost hunter uh, website on and they were investigating the top now these were dick these were dickheads like yeah. but they were investigating the top of and um Sam and Dean went to the house and the story was like something like he slit his throat or something or he got shot so they, they saw the, the either the shot wound or the, the throat slitting wound or whatever um and he didn't have a weapon but then they went back the other night and then uh, they saw that he actually had slit wrists and he was using an axe so then they went on the website and the story changed from he was that he got shot or whatever to he slit his wrists and his weapon is an axe Yeah. so it gets most people to believe in it so then the story changes it so then they can manifest it more and as they manifest it it sort of changes as them you can manifest it if you get me yeah Yeah. I thought that was cool as fuck I'm sorry uh-huh. <laughs> it's so cool <laughs> <laughs> oh, f- uh, the next one I have I is the shapeshifter. Uh, Sweet. Shapeshifter's bar is literally stated in his name. It shapeshifts. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's, it's it's about as basic as a demon. So, oh, uh, it's able to shift itself into like any like human body form. So, say for example, the shapeshifter saw Shay and was like, "I want to shape myself in him." Boom. It does that. I, I don't know. So some shapeshifters, I guess they can do it really quick. Some shapes that it may take a while. Oh, I'm struggling to speak. But yeah, they can make themselves look and sound basically identical to anybody. So they can literally choose any living being and just if they want to be them, they can shapeshift in them. They start out as human. This is something I found interesting. They start out as human. So, but later learn how to shape their form. As shapeshifters start off as humans, they can share some of the same things human can, humans can, such as greed, lust, etc. They can be considered the most human-like monsters because they share different desires, unlike werewolves and vampires. I find that very interesting because it's like, yeah. at the same time, they started off as humans, and you're like, oh, they are humans, but they can just shapeshift. But then you're like, they actually are humans because they still share like greed, lust. I assume like hunger, all of that, but they can shapeshift. Yeah. So they're basically a human with superpowers, if we're being perfectly honest. But it's like 
when it said the most human-like monsters, when it said that it's more human-like than werewolves and vampires, I was like, that is true. Now, because they mm. share those desires. Because I always thought if you said the most human-like, I would say a um, werewolf or a vampire because a vampire, you're still looking like a human. Aside, you know, your fangs yeah. and shit. Now, werewolf, you are a human before you turn into a werewolf. But yeah. when a shapeshifter takes form of a living being, they will shed their skin, teeth, and nails to form into the being's appearance and will also be able yeah. to access the human's thoughts that they have formed into and they're now mimicking. I find that very cool. I thought yeah. that if they just took, like, just... My, if they just changed themselves into you, I thought that was it. I thought that's all they could do. But the fact that they can access your thoughts, now it makes more sense to me because now they can actually act like you and know exactly how you respond to things, exactly how you say things, exactly how you word things. It's pretty cool. <laughs> like, yeah. I was literally reading this and I was like, this one's pretty cool. Like, imagine being able to shapeshift into, like, anyone. Like, I, I would shapeshift into a rich person. And ask people to get and ask people to give me money, and then ship ship back and I have money. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Like I, I thought it was fucking it was class. Like, it is. It's like um, whenever they would shed their skin, it would be like uh, like a sort of snake. Yeah. So would, because you know why snakes shed their skin, but it's like it makes it's, sense. It's this, the leaf, yeah. It's like the leaf past this pile of gunk. I, I want to say gunk yeah. because it, it looks gross. So it does, but it's a bunch of slime and just meat and shit. It, it looks cool as fuck. No, but uh, yeah, no, I, I it actually makes sense because it's like obviously, say for example, say for example, I was shape shifting into you. You don't have freckles yeah. in your arm, and I do. So obviously, that would skin it off to make my arm look the same tone as yours and have the same detail oh, as yeah. yours. So it makes sense. And then. Another difference between the shapeshifters and the majority of the supernatural creatures is shifters do not seem to be able to detect another shifter in their presence. Which is actually kind of cool. Because it's like, you'd think like, say, a vampire. I assume vampires can tell when other people are vampires. I assume. Yes. And then other monsters, like maybe demons or whatever, should be able to tell. But mm. it's like, it says that they can't even detect, even if they have an emotional connection or whatever, or they know them. Because obviously they can shapeshift. Because it's kind of just like you'd think. They're supernatural. It's like say me and Shay were shapeshifters. And I shapeshifted into someone. Shay showed up shapeshifted into someone. I should be able to tell it's him. Because we know each other. And we supernatural. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't we have that power? But they don't. So like. Larry Shay could shapeshift into somebody. F fucking 10 feet down the road. And I wouldn't know unless I see it. Exactly. Which I actually found quite cool because you know I thought you know they surely they'd be able to attack each other, but then I'm like, yeah. what? What if the shapeshifter? I always, I made this scenario of my head. What if the shapeshifter was trying to shapeshift into someone to ruin their day, but they were trying? Say for example, they shapeshifted into a guy and they're trying to ruin that guy's life by getting the girl mm -hmm. to hit him, but then what if another one shapeshifted into the girl and it's just two shapeshifters arguing? <laughs> oh, what if they just shapeshift and they're arguing with each other <laughs> they don't know I just thought of us <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool Thanks. I was literally thinking yeah. I was like what if the shapeshift and they're just arguing with each other and then they're gonna think oh I did my job but you didn't because you just argue with another shapeshift you're gonna get home you're like you'll never guess what I did today oh you'll never guess what I did and then they'll tell each other <laughs> yeah. but shapeshifters oh, are no. pretty cool shape I'll be a really cool super yeah. part What's the next one you have? Maybe. I have a changeling next. Go for it. Sweet. So, changelings are weird. <laughs> so, changelings, in a way, are kind of like shapeshifters. Now, we've got a couple of these because they're all sort of okay. the same thing, but we've got to do it differently. Okay. So, Changelings run in a family, sort of. So you'll have uh, the mother changeling, and then she'll like make all of her like wee baby changelings. And stuff. It's it's so weird. But basically, what changelings do is um, they'll infiltrate families, so they will. Yeah. So, but how they do that is they'll infiltrate families as children. 
the children from the families. So basically, what the mother will do is, like, the mother changeling, mm-hmm. she will they'll, they'll capture the children or whatever child. Why do they need to capture the children take... when it's their children? No, it's not their children. Did you not say that they they repopulate <laughs> the changelings? No. I'm so confused. No, 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 no. It's no, it's it's basically forget their name, changelings. It's basically a bunch of people, uh, not people, but it's it's monsters, right? Yes. And uh, they have one ruler. So the ruler is called the mother, and the mother will go into normal people's homes. Oh. And capture a child. Okay. And whenever she captures the child, uh, one of her sort of like one of her sort of like. Uh, I, w- I want to call them baby changelings, but they're not. So m- one of the other monsters will sort of change in to that. They'll, they'll transform into a version of that child. So it'll look exactly oh. like that child. And it'll sound exactly like that child. But um, basically it won't act like that child. So it won't. And basically what the child will do is they will go into the families. And they'll basically feed on the families. So, I have it written down here as what they feed on. Okay. Uh, so, basically, it says they feed on synovial fluid. <laughs> and that is fluid between the joints in your bones, apparently, or syno- synovial bones or whatever. They'll feed on that. Okay. So the way- I thought they were going to feed so- on emotions, but I clearly was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, it says here... Um, but so... Basically, how they like you can tell a changeling very easily, so you can mm-hmm. because there's way to there's ways to tell um, what like say you're a, a human yeah. like a normal person who doesn't know this shit. There's ways to tell that there's something weird about someone. So like say you're a shapeshifter, yeah. A way to tell that they're a shapeshifter is by CCTV because they do it in the show. This is the show's way of telling. CCTV, they look up at the CCTV camera, their eyes are completely white. Mm. That's a way to tell. You know, so then this one. Are the white in person, though? No? In person? No. Okay, I assume not. On so the CCTV, it's. CCTV, they're like luminous. It's white. like ghosts, you need a camera or something to attack them, basically. Yeah. Oh. But that, that's. I'm not the, more uh, interested, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. But that, that's the that's the shapeshifter that you had. But the, uh, the changeling that I have is the way to be able to tell it is by mirrors. So, or uh, reflections or so whatever. So it's still like a ghost, so, so I'm still interested. <laughs> this sounds like yeah, a shapeshifter, so, but a better form of a shapeshifter. This one's cooler. <laughs> yeah, so basically, um, in the show they used this, so it was the the changeling daughter, and it was, because it's, it's always so attached to the mother, and it's draining the mother of all of her fucking, because it's saying... Mommy, I want to fucking whatever the shit. You know, it's 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 I like I want to hug you. I want to stay with you all the time. The mother goes to the the ba- like the bathroom, and then the daughter sit like they're constantly banging on the fucking door. So she has to see her mum and all this, and it's, it's crazy. But uh, she goes over and she hugs her daughter. So she does, and then she looks in the mirror because of the kid's reflection. Yeah. So basically, what and and it's not the face that you're expecting. It's more gross than ever, because what the face is is basically it's like. Oh, it's weird. It's like it's a grey face, but it's gross. It's it's grey and it's like there's so much wrinkles in the skin. It's unbelievable. I'm assuming it has no um, eyes, no mouth, no nose. No, it's well, it's got blacked out eyes, so the oh. eyes are like huge. I think I believe they're blacked out. I can't if I can remember correctly. The eyes are blacked out, so they're huge. But the mouth is kind of it's not a circle. It's more of like an oval shape, so your mouth kind of looks like a vagina. <laughs> Basically, uh, it's like an oval shape, and it's got like hundreds of fucking teeth inside of it, and they're all sharp and pointy. So they are, so it does look absolutely disgusting. So after this, I'll send you a picture okay. of it. But it's it's absolutely it looks gross like. Um, so one way to kill them, because this is the only known sort of way in the in the shows and stuff, is how to kill them is by fire. So you can light them on fire and they'll burn alive. Um, and then, but you don't have to kill them all one by one. So you don't have to go and kill every changeling child. So you just have to kill the mother. Just to be able, 
Yes, exactly. You kill the mother. And I, and yeah, the I'm die. smart. I just, I literally just, that's really sadistic. Uh, what a way of saying it. I literally just yeah. thought it's like, if you want to fix a problem, you cut the root. So I was yeah. literally thinking, I was like, do you kill the mother? He goes, yes. And I'm like, I'm smart. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the mainly, it's, it's, it's a weird way that I explain that there. But basically, they're talked about as being a replacement um, for human children. Uh, that have been captured okay. by the, the changeling mother. So basically, it's like, say, um, the mum takes the actual child, she just snatches them from the house and then replaces it with this evil version, but nobody knows. Yeah. It's it's sort of that. And then they go on the feed off, and they're mainly in big families. Like, so, well, I say families, but they're not actually families, they're just changelings. <laughs> children, you know? It's like one of those foreign like, exchange like, students. Things they take the child to give you an evil one. <laughs> well, yeah, but no, I, I think that's that one is. It's, it's, it's basically yeah, shapeshifters, it's like, but better. That's literally what that is. Well, yeah. it's, uh, it's literally shapeshifters, but better. Because shapeshifters, they just shapeshift. That's it. Which is cool. I would like yeah. to do. But these ones, they shapeshift. They go. They're basically agents. They're undercover agents, and they just yeah, and they, they feed they off feed shit. Yeah. Things. So it's it's yeah. cooler because it has more behind yeah. it, but. Exactly, and it's class, like you know. That was cool. <laughs> I, th- I still think the Tulpa is the best <laughs> one we've talked about so far. <laughs> the shapeshifter is the one I would like to have, but the Tulpa sounds fucking awesome. I yeah. we're gonna take a break now, and whenever yeah. we'll come back, I'm gonna talk about. Do I want to talk about my favorite one yet? Out of the research, anyway. No, we'll save it till the end. Yeah, I'll, sa- I'll save it till what the end. Say? Yeah. What are you saying about research? No, uh, I did, after the research, I obviously decided, oh, this one seems the coolest to me. And see, when I, like, you'll see whenever I literally say what one's my favourite, you're going to be like, that makes a lot of sense. Because <laughs> you're Joshua. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to make a lot of sense. But we'll take a break now. That's four done each, which means we have... No, wait, that's not four done each. It's two done each, so that's four done. <laughs> which means we have six left. Yeah, six. But... Yeah. We'll take a break, we'll come back, and then we will continue on. So, we will be back. Okay, so we're back. And it's my turn. Yeah, it's my turn. So, I'm going to leave my favourite one to last, is what I'm going to do. So, the next one we're going to go off is Hellhounds. Okay. So, I keep feeling like I'm going to (laughs) sneeze. Hellhounds are ballistic, evil beasts of the supernatural world. They serve demons, hence the name Hellhound, obviously, because when you think of a hound, you know, you know what comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Normally described as a demonic pit bull, Hellhounds are fishes that can scour and strike fear in the humans, demons, and sometimes even angels. And this is what I, they're literally, they're monsters. Their powers and abilities, Mm -hmm. they have enhanced speed, so they're super fucking fast. They have invisibility, which is mad. Heightened sense of smell, which means... They can fucking smell your ass from ages. Super strength, which makes sense because they're from hell. Yeah. And uh, Hellhound's task objective, they go forward and they collect souls of humans that deals have come due. So basically, they're at their expiry de- expiration date, de- basically. Yeah. Uh, some circumstances, the only people that would be able to see Hellhounds are the souls that they have to collect. Meaning that if you... Where a round person, the hellhound ain't after your ass. You probably ain't gonna see it. The only time, the only person that's able to see it is the person that it is coming to collect the soul of. So, like I said, if you're at your expiration date, they're coming for your ass. If they have assigned to come and get you, basically. Mm-hmm. Bit of the hellhound's backstory. After God created it, this is its backstory and all of its history for all y'all. So, after God created the universe, he made a variety of creatures, including hellhounds which he originally intended to be the creator's best friend, which would make sense because hellhounds, like a dog, dogs are a man's best friend. So it's supposed to be a man's best friend, kind of like you would do with a dog, like I said. So although the hellhounds proved to be two fishes, God destroyed them all, but Lucifer, when Lucifer fell from heaven, he rescued one of the hellhounds, which stopped all of them going extinct. So basically God created them. He created them to be good, be a man's best friend, basically as a dog, a pet. They turned out to be two fishes. He realized, oh shit, I gotta destroy these. He destroyed them, but before he could destroy every single one of them, when Lucifer fell from heaven straight into 
fell his ass in the hell. He saved one of them. And that stopped them from going extinct. And now they're still about. And he's probably fucking cloned them or some shit. I don't know. But he saved them from going extinct. So, they're not gone. <laughs> they're still a thing. <laughs> That's, that, I, I found that one really interesting. Because it's literally just like a... See, when it said it's like a demonic pit bull. I was like, mm. it is. Because Hellhound, it's a dog. Exactly. And because you said when it said vicious, I was like the first thing I thought of was pit bull. Yeah. Although not all pit bulls are vicious, but that's what they're known for. So I just thought, oh, it's like a pit bull, and then it said demonic pit bull, and I'm like, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, see, so, whenever, sorry, see, 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 whenever it said uh, about deals, uh-huh. basically, uh, like see in lore and shit. It's like demons that are known to make deals with humans and stuff. So whenever the demon has come. Then the like hellhound would take them to hell. Yeah. Rip them apart. Well, yeah. That's cool. what I said. Yeah. When the deals are due, when the expiration date has come. Oh yeah, for. That's literally what I said. Yeah. I thought you just meant whenever someone was trying to die, and I was like, okay. No. Fair. Well, that I guess that too. If they fucking die, well then I guess they're <laughs> all in this fucking first come first serve. Yeah. So, lesson kids, don't make a deal with the devil. No. Or else a hellhound will come, grab you by the balls, or vagina, or Pajamas. triangular spear, whatever you have, and trail you down the hill. <laughs> into the de- into, grab you by the triangular spear, and drag you down, to, down into the depths of hell. Fair point. Uh, mm. That one's basically just like a fucking evil dog. It is. So, what's your next one? That one was good. Um... Next, we have a rigaroo. Do okay. you know what a rigaroo is? No. Okay. So it's this mystical creature, right? Oh. Um, basically, a rigaroo is someone that is like born human, but it's not like a disease okay. that they have. But it's like this. Uh, it's weird. It's like this condition that they have, but it's passed down through generations. So it is. So basically, over time. Like, ah, oh, fuck. Over, over time, these people will, uh, like, develop hunger. You know, like, you know where you get hungry, right? Like, you get hungry yes. for, like, a burger and stuff. Yes. <clears throat> but it's kind of like you grow an intense hunger. So you're eating your burger and you're thinking about the next burger you're going to have. And then you're eating that one and you want more and you want more and you want more. Um, it comes to the point Cut where... It's- it's called the journey to a weight problem shit. It is. It's called America. Okay. So, uh... Yes. <laughs> oh, God. No, but uh, basically it eats and it eats and it eats and it eats. Um, and then it goes on to the fact that he starts eating raw meat. So yeah. say you buy like 5% lean mints because that's the best. Uh, you buy 5% lean mints or some shit like that. You literally just take it out of the pocket, start eating it, start eating it. Um, and over that time, his body will sort of start to change. So, well, now it doesn't really change dramatically, but it does change. And it'll mm. grow more hunger, and it'll start hearing, <laughs> kind of like vampires, it'll start hearing heartbeats of people. So, he will. Yeah. And um, basically what it ends up is all rigorous end up eating people. So they do, so they end up pe- eating people alive. But whenever you, whenever rigorous has their first bite of human flesh, they can't be changed back anymore. Like they, they can't go back to a normal life. And they can never... So my, my, hmm. my point of view here is they're just supernatural zombies. Pretty much, yeah. They're cannibals. They're cannibals. Exactly. Basically. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. So they're yeah. Su- they're basically supernatural. They're they're labelled cannibals, but zombies yeah. are kind of shown to call them zombies. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and uh, that's a little bit of what I wrote. But what what they look like is so. See, whenever they do take their first bite of human flesh, yeah, they go pale. So that they like their whole skin just goes just like pale, sort of like a wee yellowy pale color. Um, okay. And they've got like sort of like pokey out veins like you know like prominent sort of veins and shit and their yeah. skin is like all wrinkly and shit um <laughs> it's class but then it says uh full grown rigorous they have pitch black eyes so they do yeah whereas unchanged rigorous so like the ones who haven't sort of 
They haven't eaten yet. Eaten but human flesh. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant that before they've eaten human flesh. No, that yeah. But you just said hunger in general. I know it's whenever whenever they're getting that hunger before they have eaten human flesh, yeah, because they oh, haven't changed yeah. it. Once you eat human flesh, once you change. But um, okay, basically, this one is the unchanged ones have uh, red eyes, and they're like red eyes. They're all bloodshot around the red eyes, and it's all like weird it's kind of like you can really see their veins around their eyes i'm sort of doing the motion here but you can't really see it this is literally zombies yeah. yeah i know it's it's like it's, <laughs> it's, it's like supernatural so i say i'm interested because zombies are my favorite type of monsters <laughs> but, uh, you know, so i'm very interested no that's fair but then they can speak you know obviously they, they, they can speak and they're they're human like except for they're not oh, shit. but um <laughs> you know they're human except for the <laughs> <laughs> they're human but they're not yeah. but they're human yeah except for the fact that they're not yeah no so uh how do you kill it so all of these ones come with uh this thing and it's like kind of like they say you have a toy and you're advertising a toy and you're like comes with included fire because all of them die by fire <laughs> yeah like, loads of these people like the changelings died by fire this one dies by fire so, this one, literally, you have to burn it alive. It's the main way. Um, other ways are only on the show. Okay. So, I've seen, like, an angel killing knife. Or, um, or, sorry, a demon killing knife can kill them and shit like that. But you're like, that's in the, that's in the TV show. But, like, yeah. in real life, this is how you kill a Ruguru in real life. Because they're real. So, yeah. I mean, it might be. Well, they could be. Maybe that's what they're hiding in Area 51. <laughs> Everything we're talking about right now. Yeah, Rugerous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tulpas. <laughs> Tortoises. No, that I like that the sound of that one just because it was literally a supernatural zombie, and yeah. zombies are my favorite monsters. So, like, as soon as you mention, <laughs> well, zombies aside, ghosts. But like, you know, if I want to see action, zombies. Yeah, and these ones are cool. Like, you need to see the episode with them. That's the episode I'm most interested in. Mm -hmm. um, next one I have is the Reaper. Ooh, yeah. And then the last one. So the Reapers are angels of death. Okay. So they're dead. No, <laughs> their job is to take souls and deliver them to the final destination. One of the Reapers' powers is that they are able to stop time and you're only able to see them when they are coming at you. Mm. I found that fucking pretty cool. The fact that they can literally just stop time and do, they, like you can only see them when they're coming at you, so you don't have time to think, "Oh shit, what yeah. do I do?" Because they're just running at you. Um, <clears throat> Reapers are neutral, meaning they don't align with heaven nor hell nor perjury, uh, which means they're not. I guess they're not working for God. They're not working for Satan. They're not working for their own monetary gain. I guess maybe you could just say perjury. I don't know. Is they're not on each side. They're just fucking. I think it is. Yeah. They, they're not on each side. They're just like, look, I'm a, whoever offers me a job, I will do, I guess. So, Reapers are forced to wait until death occurs for them to go and do their job. They have to wait until someone meets their end. Then the Reaper will show and will touch the person, causing them to take that final breath. And the Reaper will then deliver the souls to the rightful destination, whether it be heaven or hell. So, if someone is, say, going to die, and they're on the last breath, and that's their task, they will go and then, I guess... As soon as they touch them, that'll be like... They just kind of like need to be there to like end the thing. Like mm. they're dying anyway. They need to be there. As soon as they touch you, you go off. That's what at least Wikipedia says. But then you die and then they deliver. Whether you're heaven, whether you're hell, whether there's a third place, I don't know. But he, he's neutral. So he delivers heaven and hell. He's just neutral. He's not evil. He's not good. He's, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's not either. Reapers do not possess the power to force souls to go with them. And have to convince the soul to follow them, often being successful, right? Nice. After explaining that, if the souls do not follow the Reaper to their designed destination, then their souls may be trapped on Earth in forms of ghosts for all eternity. Mm. That's very, very cool. Yeah. Because as soon as I read that, I was like, that is fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, ghosts. No. <laughs> no, so basically, they have to come in and say... I was about to say Shay Shay dies, but they'll be using the same words. <laughs> say I die. <laughs> say I die. What the fuck? What you say I die, and Shay is the Reaper, and Shay has to go right. You're going to hell. I'm coming to take your Because there's, there's no way I'm going to heaven. They're like right. You're going to hell, 
And I'd be like, no. And then they'd be like, right, so he has to convince me to go to hell with him to decide this issue. If I go, no, I'm not going. Well, then, I guess. If I don't, I guess it's kind of like, he kind of needs to guide you. He can't force you to go because he doesn't have that power. He's just kind of the tour guide. Yeah. It's like he doesn't choose the, I guess he doesn't really, like, say he work. say you work for some place, you don't choose the main things, you just do it. Yeah. Like you're you're not you're not the the person that makes the choices. You just align those. You have to enforce them. That's all you do. Yeah. So basically, that's basically what he does. He's just your assigned tour guide to where you want to go. And if you don't want to go, then you're stuck on Earth for your soul to basically be stuck on Earth for all eternity. Which I thought was very cool. So it's very like <laughs> mad. But I thought it was very cool. As soon as I mentioned ghosts, and I'm like, that makes sense because if he doesn't have the force, I thought that I was like, if he doesn't have the force to take you with him. And you don't go with him, what happens? And it goes, you just get stuck on Earth. So it's, usually it's successful, because I assume if he goes, you're going to be stuck on Earth for all eternity, you're like, I'll go with you. Yeah, exactly. And then that's how you get... I, I feel like I feel like that'll persuade you to go. <laughs> uh, well, usually uh, that's, that, that would be then how you get the uh, poltergeist uh, and like, vengeful spirits and everything. Well, not vengeful spirits, yeah. but that's how you get poltergeist <clears> and stuff, because they stay there for so long. You know, and then yeah. they're just trapped there, so they get angry and angry and angry, and then it's called poltergeist. <laughs> it's like, that's as soon as I said that I, as soon as I read that I was like that's really cool like Rose Red probably nobody watching this has ever watched Rose Red and you're probably not going to because it's four hours long <laughs> unless you literally are really into ghost hauntings you'll love it if you are but it's about a place and, and it's obviously haunted and it's kind of just like their souls are trapped there and obviously if you're trapped in the, like I'm trapped in the fucking house because of coronavirus so obviously that pisses me off so they're trapped there and then that that's kind of why evil spirits are there i guess because you just get angry over time and then they throw chairs at you because now you're in their place <laughs> but yes i i thought that one was actually pretty good that's not my favorite one that's probably my second favorite one just because of the ending Fair. but my favorite one's up next so <laughs> what what one do you have next thing should i do my favorite or save it the last save it to the last okay, okay. Okay. Both of our favorites. Save. I thought the Topo would have been your favorite. No, well, it kind of is, but I like I like the concept of the, ne the next one better. Okay, right. We'll do your favorite last because I left my favorite to last as well. Okay. So take it away. Next, we have the more known ones of them, and you've probably never heard of it. So there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> more known, but you've probably never heard of it. Well, yeah, I mean, you watch Supernatural. Like everybody talks about these for some reason. They're in like the second episode. Uh, so these are called a Wendigo. So they're literally called Wendigos. So okay, basically, a Wendigo <laughs> is a human being who was in a situation where they were forced to eat human flesh. Right. So okay. Say me and you get trapped in like. I don't know, in this underground cave or something, and we're dying because we're so fucking hungry, and I just eat you because I'm forced to, because I would. No, <laughs> but because uh, I mean, I you, you never know human. I've always said you never know humans might taste like chicken. You try a bunch of different meats, and they all taste like chicken. We might taste like chicken as well. Maybe salt. Maybe cannibals are right. Maybe we should eat humans and solve the world's problems. Because if you eliminated humans, the world would be a better place. So maybe just start eating humans. Okay. So maybe they're all, maybe they're, these creatures are on to something. To be honest, yeah. no, that's fair. No, but uh, so they're they're basically cannibals, and they had to eat flesh to survive. Uh, okay. Yeah. So they become monsters that have little features of their human looks uh, they once had. So basically, <coughs> once they <coughs> sorry, fuck me. Once the fucking <laughs> once they, they eat the human flesh over a certain period of time, then they will change physically. What their appearance? Oh, yeah, their appearance will change physically. So basically, um, over time, these these Wendigos they live for hundreds of years. So they do because they go and they, they're a monster now. So they hibernate. Yeah. So they do. So they're forced to. Um, trap their victims and eat them over a long period of time while they're hibernating over like such like harsh winters and shit sounds like a dog or not a dog because dogs don't hibernate but, it's like uh, a burr yeah exactly. <laughs> dogs don't hibernate yeah. it's like a burr aye uh, but then it's uh, you know so they're forced to do that and then they'll physically change as well 
so they'll not keep any of the features of course that the ones had um so they feed solely on human flesh so they do so okay. um that's why whenever the winter comes and stuff they hibernate and that, that's why they have to uh sort of like store their people you know their, their victims so then they can eat them over time um okay so they're basically they're humanoid so they walk on two legs um they kind of have you ever seen yeah. the third harry potter movie no probably not i I've, i don't know which one that is prisoner basketball i've probably seen parts i've seen parts of every harry potter movie just haven't watched them the whole way through oh, the, well, well there's this part in it where lupin turns into a werewolf but it doesn't really look like the werewolf that like the werewolf you, you think, think of yeah so it, yeah. it basically looks kind of sort of a wee bit tiny bit like a wendigo sort of thing because it's gray and it's tall and it's skinny but um yeah so basically they're over six feet tall so their bones are visible under their skin so they are so, wait, so you can see their bones looking at them yes so it's it's kind of like a really really skinny person who say they take the top off you can see their ribs so it's like that oh okay yeah so you can see their bones under the skin um they've usually got like pushed back eyes so their eyes are like deep into their sockets so they are so that's so they have undertaker eyes yes pretty much. or do you mean okay. no 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 um it's kind of like not not the way that their eyes are like backwards it's like their eyes are like sunken into their skull so it's like it's like having big eye sockets and small eyes yes yeah, pretty much okay yeah so uh yeah, so it sounds like a fucking nightmare. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so they've got claws. They've got razor claws. So they like razor light claws. On their raw yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know I did that. That was funny. <laughs> but, uh, they did that, and then uh, they've got like sharp, crooked teeth. Uh, they've got also many layers of teeth, and they've got uh, matted fur on them. So they've got, they're, kind of, they're basically kind of look like a werewolf, but like a standy werewolf. Um, yeah. They've also got chunks of skin and flesh missing from their bodies because they're, I, I guess, from what I read, they eat themselves. <laughs> okay. So, you know, weird. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, there's actually many ways to kill these. So there is. Um, so fire, obviously, is one because every... Fire basically does. kills everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> iron. So it's a bit of iron. Uh, Why? I don't know. Iron is, you know, I don't know, because you know Minecraft and iron and stuff. No, iron is like. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna explain how you kill this supernatural creature because you no, know, those uh, those fucking green things in Minecraft, you kill them for. Creepers. <laughs> yeah, creepers. Uh, oh yeah, no expert. No, but oh, crazy, like legit. Like, they're afraid of iron, steel, and silver. Okay. So it's kind of like you know, a werewolves. I understand. Bullets. Is vampire scared of silver, or is that is it something else? I don't I'm thinking. Know. I can't remember if vampire scares. I know there's. Uh, they die by wooden stakes to the heart and sunlight. Yeah, but is it not silver they're scared of? I'm pretty sure some supernatural creature is scared of silver. I'm a werewolf or fucking. Bullets. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it's it's a werewolf. It must be silver in general. A werewolf scarf. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I think. I think it is. Uh, what? I think demons as well is either silver or iron. So it is. I, th I think it's. I think it's like silver, like iron and shit like that. That a couple of them are girl, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Um. No. So yeah, that's how. You, that, that, that's what it is. So basically, they mainly live in like underground, like say caves but if you didn't have caves I guess they would live in like a sewer system I guess I don't know many of these live in underground mm -hmm. so yeah. you know, the likes of the shapeshifters well would live underground um, and you've got that one also dragons and shit so there's dragons and TV shit <laughs> no, but uh, yeah so they live uh, and they store their meat and their, their victims they eat them because they have to you know what I mean and you kill the fire. so is it so technically they're not evil originally they're forced into evil. Pretty much. Because they didn't openly eat that person. They were forced to. So technically they were forced to be evil. Yeah, pretty much. I, I wouldn't say that they're evil. They're just a, a supernatural creature. You know, they kill people. So they, they, they're they forced to do evil things. Sickening things. But they're not actually evil with bad intention. 
They just yeah. like the taste of human flesh and the crunch of our bones. Exactly. I mean, we all have our preferences. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer a good cheeseburger. I prefer chicken. <laughs> we all have our preferences. I prefer a good McDonald's. <laughs> so are you. Fuck yeah. It. So, uh, exactly. So that that's that was the Wendigo. Wendigos are cool as fuck. There's so many, like, zombie supernatural things that I've heard about now. Yeah. Like, zombie-like. Uh, no. These are awesome! Uh, you're going to love my hat. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the final one of mine. You know what this one is, don't you? Yes. Yes, yeah. yes I do. <laughs> it's called the Death Echo. I have to look it up. The Death Echo. And, uh... That this is, you'll know, as soon as you hear, like, as soon as you all hear me explain it, you're going to be like, of course, that's your favorite fucking one. So, <laughs> this is a type of trapped ghost. There you go, you already know why. <laughs> the ghost slash soul is stuck reenacting its death over and over again as it is stuck in a loop. So, death echoes are harmless, and they usually are stuck souls as a case of murder. It's much like a loved one or someone needs to discover the truth about the trapped soul's death so that the, de the death echo can stop reenacting and move on. It doesn't necessarily have to be they need to discover about its death, but it's usually a loved one or someone close to them can set them free in many different ways. But basically, it is a reenacting death. So it's, if you've ever watched, I still can't remember the name of it, but it's like the Black Bride or something, and it is the kid gets locked in a closet, and way, way before this girl got killed in the closet and he he's locked in like the school closet for like a week over the holidays and he keeps seeing the reenacting of this girl getting thrown off the cliff as he looks out the window and it's like reenacting it's like mm. it's a, the reason I like this one is because it's literally like my theory like I've said I've said many times to you Shay and everybody else knows because I believe in ghosts I've always said if something bad if something happens to you and you need like say you, you get murdered and your loved one isn't yeah. able to move on with their life until they know what happened to you. You cannot be reincarnated. The system stops and you're stuck in your place. And sometimes it may be you have to keep going through and reenacting it to help them more and more get closer. And then when they discover it, your soul is free and that's when you get reincarnated. That's my theory. That's why I find this one so interesting. Because it's like... Literally, mm. like the theory I explained, but it's like I said, you have to stay and you have to get them to understand so you can move on. But it's like reenacting your death, so that's what you have to do. Yeah. But it says, when a loved one or someone the trapped spirit has had an emotional connection with uncovers things revolving its death, many times the death actor will be able to pass on to the afterlife. So, like I said say you're murdered and the only way for the death echo to pass on is it's stuck in this constant loop someone that's close to them or something needs to it doesn't necessarily have to be they have to undiscover it though i'm sure there's many many ways but the most popular one the most known one is you would undiscover the death so you find out who the murderer is or whatever or maybe i'm based it off the universe not god heaven and hell i'm based off the universe so it's like say the universe wants you to that person that murdered you needs to be brought to justice and when that happens your soul is free and is not trapped anymore to pass on to heaven or hell to pass on to be reincarnated to the afterlife all of this and that so that's why I find that one of the most yeah. interesting because it's literally it, it that literally is a supernatural creature that backs my theory in a way like it literally is just based on a theory that I had it's literally very similar that's yeah. why I liked it so much <laughs> I read it and I was like, this one's sick. This one's the best one. <laughs> yeah. No, what, what? No, that one is no do, do you see why, though? Because I've said to you about like the soul being trapped and then you have to do something to let them move on so your soul can be free, like on discovering who murdered you, bringing them to justice, and then you move on. I thought that one was pretty cool yeah. because it's, I just, I don't know. I just, <laughs> it's just the way it's based around that. And also, Death Echo sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> as soon as I read them I was like Death Aku sounds awesome and I read it I was like that's the best one by far that is the best one <laughs> I got I, I literally like geeked out whenever I started reading I was like oh this is so cool I was like oh this is so fucking cool <laughs> I started like geeking out like oh this is literally like my theory this is so cool I'm so glad that I didn't leave Shay to do this one <laughs> I, I was literally like see if I picked a different one and you done this one I would have been very pissed off 
it was C to be fair. Like I did stick that in that one in there because I knew you'd want to talk about it. See, but I I didn't know so. what it was. I just get I just chose by what names I liked. Whenever you give me the list, so basically Shay gave me mm -hmm. a list of ten. He did five. I did five. He just got me to choose five. I just chose ones that I either liked the name of or I just literally, literally just flipped the coin to choose because I chose Death Echo because the names are cool. The Reaper, Shapeshifter, and then the other two, I literally just flipped the coin and was like, what one should I do? And I, I, it landed and I'm like, no, that one sounds cool. I'll take that one, yeah. It's literally mm -hmm. what it did. <laughs> no, it's true. Uh, I remember talking to you about Death Echoes before though whenever I was watching that one episode. Yeah. But like, I, I didn't remember yeah. that and then as soon as like, you, um... Yeah. As soon as I chose it, and I started reading about it, it started to get in my head. I'm like, have I not talked about that? I was thinking to myself, I was like, is it just me and Shay had the conversation about my theory about the system, the life cycle? Or is like, or have we talked about this before? Because I know we've actually had the conversation about my theory about the life cycle and it stops. The, you can't be reincarnated. That's what causes a miscarriage, etc. But I didn't know we actually talked about the death cycle. <laughs> but yeah, no, if you if you done that one, I would have been very pissed off, not gonna lie. I, I would have felt betrayed if you didn't give me that one. If you had of if say if I had have said you just gave me five and you didn't give me that one, I would have felt betrayed. Well, fair, but uh, the fact was that I let you pick them first because then I had because I wanted to do all of them to be fair. But um, you know, I gave you the choice to pick five before me, so then you could choose yours and I could do mine. But what if I didn't choose that one? Because I was. I would have told you. I would have been like, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Thing, so okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's my favourite one. Sick. <laughs> it's fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's your last one then? Because this is, your last one's your favourite one, uh, so. Yeah, it is. This one, right, this one has such a cool concept. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so, this one is called a Jin. So, it's spelled D G I N. Okay. Or DJIN. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's all, I can also speak uh, <coughs> spelled J A or J I N N as well. Okay. So you search them up. Like, see, with a lot of these, there's a lot of uh, like different lore around it. So you'll hear different stories from different types of lore and shit. Yep. But we're going off of this one. Um, so basically, it's a. It's a soup like it's it looks like a person, right? So that's what a jinn is. It it's a person, right? Yep. But it's a supernatural it's like it's a cave dwelling person, so it's like a hermit. So like you know why a hermit never comes out of a cave. Yep. Or whatever. So that's basically what it is. But um this person sort of it looks like it's got a bunch of tattoos on him. So that's what he looks like. He literally he it looks like a normal person. Just a bunch of tattoos on his arms and on his face and all that. So that's how you can tell that he's a jinn. So basically okay. what a jinn does is they feed off of human blood. So they're kind of like a vampire, but not as... Uh, Stupid. Or, these are cooler. <laughs> no, they know these are cooler than vampires. And I'll tell you why. It's because... Uh, what, see, whenever a jinn touches you... Yes. Um, it, it's basically poison. So it is. So they touch you and it's poison. So what it does is they basically send you inside your head because as, as hang on. <laughs> I mean let me explain this right because a jinn is kind of like a genie okay so it grants wishes but this one is evil and it feeds off of your blood okay but to be able to get it to feed off of your blood it sends you in a coma sort of like a coma state so whenever it touches you it poisons you okay. And it sends you into a different reality inside your head. It sends you into a different reality, and it's a reality of where something you really, really want to work out. It sends you there, so it does. So you can live in that reality, and you're not so like your whole life is basically being a dream, and you're living in this one different reality. So you are. So then okay. you don't realize. That you're living in this sort of dream world, so they can feed off of you and eventually kill you. You know, when you were explaining that, I'm like, are these guys really bad though? Because they're letting you live in a dream world. I'm like, you know. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna kill you. It's That's like what they are. They only get it to kill you. <laughs> you can't gain success without triumph, or you can't <laughs> gain something good without something bad. So for you to live in your dream world, you have to die in the end. That seems like a reasonable yeah. deal to me. Because you're not going to know you're going to die. 
that when you were explaining that, I was yeah. like, are these guys good or bad? I'm like, because they're trying to kill you, but they're also letting you live in like a dream world to distract you from what they're trying to do. Yes, a little bad. Yeah, but they're not like tormenting you by killing you. Because you don't realize, oh, like, you're at peace, and then you die peacefully because you don't realize. So it's like they're not oh, the worst at the same time because they're not tormenting you. You're yeah. at peace because that distracts you uh, from what they're doing. <laughs> that sounds very fucking yeah. cool. Yeah, don't, see when you said these are like vampires, but you know, I was literally just thinking, but I actually kill because vampires are fucking boring. Well, I, I, I like vampires. I don't, so. they're very boring. The only vampire I will like, like I said, is my babysitter's a vampire because that was cool. I, that, is that the music video one you were talking about? No, the fucking show. Oh, there's a show? You've never or? watched My Baby Sarah's a Vampire? No. Shay. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I literally, know you're disappointed so, in me. Search it on YouTube Whatever. when you're free. And literally, like, okay. watch the intro of it. If you don't recognise it, I don't know what the fuck you were doing in your early teenage years. But clearly you were watching a bunch of bollocks if you weren't watching that. That was sick. My early teenagers, I was masturbating to porn. And then you go watch my baby says a father. Fuck you. No, uh, anyway. So, basically, it's like any sort of dream, right? Yeah. So, they, they stick you. They make you hallucinate inside your head that you're in this, like, your perfect dream world so that they can kill you. Yep. But if you then realize that you're, uh, sort of in that dream world... And you start, you start to remember things um, that are like, say you start to remember things that uh, happened in your actual real life, yeah. then the one way you can get out of it is to kill yourself. But how, how does like that it's, work? It's Do you die fun. in the dream world and break up in reality? Pretty much, because but, then you're out of that dream. But So you are, so you, will, you wake up and you're... What? But it's like, but it's like in a dream if you die... It's like they have this whole thing that if you die in a dream, you die in real life. No, usually. Why do you if... think you wake up before you die in every dream? Yeah, so I mean. to stop you from dying. So you go to kill you. Yeah, but like that's what it is. So you you go to kill yourself. Yeah. Whenever you go to kill yourself, yeah. you wake. Yeah, up. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you like said that. you kill yourself, so I'm like, if you actually take your that's own life, I mean. do you not die in real life? If you actually die in a dream. No, it wakes you. Okay, but no, no but you, you, you don't kill yourself, but you go to kill yes, yourself. Yes, but you, you said you kill yourself, so you said you do it, no. and that's why I said, so if you die, <laughs> that's why I thought you meant no, you actually I mean. die. No, it's kind of like, say... I know say I know what in, you mean now. In your dream. If you, if you literally, yeah, like, if I'm like, falling 100 feet just before I hit the ground, yeah. I'm going to wake up. Exactly, I mean, you're still killing yourself. Yes. So, um... That's how you can wake up from it. You know what I mean? But they'll still have you... Like, in the episode, they had them... They had Dean sort of drained onto this, like... I don't know what it was, but they had him hung up and there was stuff stuck in his arms. Like, more poison, I guess. Okay. So, basically, he woke up from that uh, whenever he killed himself in his dream. I, th- I believe he killed himself. I can't remember what it was what or what he did. But he woke up from it anyways. Okay. Um, and then he woke up and they killed the gin. So, the one way to kill the gin... Or there's, there's actually uh, three ways to kill the jinn right. there on their own. I have food. a question before you do that. Does the jinn only yeah. have power over you when you're in the dream world? I don't believe no, because um, I'm assuming they're they're actually stronger than you, so they are in like in real life. So why do they need to put you in the dream world? Surely, yeah, it would be easier. But why do they? Yeah. If they're stronger than you, could they not just do it? You know what well, I mean? I don't know. As, they're, they're stronger than you. I so, thought it was like this. Yeah, I thought it was like this Freddy Krueger type vibe where you have to be in a dream because now you're weak, because you're not focused. No, you're weak anyway. Yeah, no, but like. No, it's. it's I, not like I that, thought it was. They, they can overpower you. But. I thought it was you had to be in a dream to be weak because that. I was like, why would they put you in a dream if they don't need to? I don't know. I mean, they do need to because I mean, like, even though that they're a bit stronger than you, then they can still you can still die by them, or they, they can still die by you. So they can't. But what they need to do is they need to feed on your blood over a certain period of time. So they need to keep you in with them. If okay, you know so, I mean. so they need to keep you in their cave with them, sort of thing. So that's why that they also put you in that dream world so that you don't realise what's happening. Okay, so realistically they could do it while you're awake 
It's just easier to do it when you dream. Well, pretty okay. much, but that's what they do. You know, I don't know why I don't make this up. So, but no. Uh, so, the way to kill them, there's actually three. Okay. So, you've got a silver knife dipped in lamb's blood. And I have no idea why. Don't lamb's place, blood? That's weird. Why shape? Why? Yeah, no, lamb's blood. That's, okay. I don't know. I didn't research it. So, it's a silver knife dipped in lamb's okay. blood. So, you can do that. They can also die from severe brain damage. <laughs> so, okay. literally, you smack them like fucking the head. They will die <laughs> like a normal human being. Taking a dictionary. And see... <laughs> See this one here. This one is the coolest one. I can tell you, okay, because it's to do with the dreams. Uh, so basically, whenever they stick you in a dream, they look in your memories and stuff like that. Okay. So they do, so they create the perfect world for you and all that. But if you have really traumatic memories, um, it can actually fucking leave them in a shock state. So it can't. So they they look in your memories. You have a traumatic memory. It can actually fuck them up. So it can, like, legit fuck them up. So it leaves them in a shock state. So then you can fuck so, them up. So it's like, basically, to put it simply, they're trying to control your, like, trying to control your mentality, and then yours, then they, it's basically, they try to do something, you slap down in a, in a reverse card. <laughs> it just does it to them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So that, that was the coolest way to kill them, is to leave them in a fucking shock state. You know what I mean? Because that's, that's cool as shit. But yeah, no, so the feed, the feed, they feed off of your blood by sending you into this, like, other dream world. It's good. It's, it's, it reminds me of, uh, did you ever watch Ben 10 as yes. a kid? Right, it's kind of like the episode where, I don't know what they were called, I can't remember, the knights or whatever you call yeah. them, but uh, basically the dudes with gold masks, they put Ben under this, like, under this sort of sleep thing. Yeah. And made him live this perfect reality where he got he got his game. He's got a sumo wrestler game like three months early, and all while oh, he was yeah. asleep because they were trying to take his watch off of him. That's kind of like what they do. Yeah. But instead of taking a watch off of you, they take blood off of you and drink it. Right. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that that's my favorite. That was the coolest one. Like I always thought the Wendigo was my favorite, but no, that's this one. Nah, that that one cool. and the death actor were my two favorite. But just like that one, you just split yeah. in the death actor were definitely the two best. I mean. Oh well, yeah. Also the topo. I like the topo was cool, but I it's like, like it's just for the fact that the death actor was like, if it's about ghosts, it's obviously gonna have. <laughs> I'm gonna be biased towards it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like if it's about like, ghosts or zombies. It what? It was my favorite whenever I was watching the show. I was mm -hmm. like, oh my god, that's so cool, and I texted you about it immediately, and you were like, yeah. No, uh, it's like. If it's about ghosts or zombies, I'm going to be biased towards it. <laughs> it's, it's just the way it is. <laughs> oh. Fair point. That was great. Oh. It was. What did you think, guys? Did you like it? Everybody comments, no, fucking suck. You wasted an hour and a half of my time. <laughs> um, don't that was fun. <laughs> well, they wouldn't know if they, did, that they didn't like it unless they watch it. But uh, that, that was fun. Some of them were very, very interesting. They were all interesting, but some of them were very, very interesting. <laughs> like yeah, more interesting than the other. Yeah, so they're all interesting, but some of them more interesting. But that's what we're going to call it now. That was fucking. That was cool. Um, as always, smash the like button. Comment down below what you thought of this podcast. Like, comment down below what your favorite was. <clears throat> what um creature was your favorite and why? Let us know if you want this, because we'll be doing not more Supernatural podcasts, but we'll be doing more podcasts, very base, like we've done one on space, done one about paranormal activity, we've done one about now Supernatural. I prefer more of these deep conversation ones, not just ones that's just like, oh, this happens in today's thing. I prefer the ones where we go deep in depth of shit. So... If oh, you yeah. do have any ideas, comment them down below. If you don't want to, comment them on the YOLO linked in the description. As always, um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the sponsor like button. Shay's links will be in the description. My links will also be in the description. Hope you guys did enjoy this because I enjoyed this one. It was a good difference. And it, it was good. The, the research was fun. It was a good difference. And now I'm more interested mm -hmm. in the supernatural. I was already before, but now I'm a bit more interested. But <clears throat> And now you'll watch the show. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yes, and then you'll love Cass, because he's my favourite. It's great. But, uh, yeah, so, 
As always, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Say thanks will be in the description. My links will be in the description. I've been on the street of Dustin and Shay, and see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. Peace.